Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elena Green and today's video, it's not a stream of consciousness video like my usual ones. It is going to be me reading to you something. If you've seen the title, you already know. Today I want to read to you guys some tips that I have come up with myself to help you guys through your awakening. Tips that will ease the process. It's not going to make things completely better. I'll be real. We all know that spiritual awakenings are very difficult, they're tumultuous, they are, they are crazy. Spiritual awakening can be defined as a consciousness expansion. Your consciousness expands, your energy and your vibration begins to rise and your whole world will begin to change in a number of ways. Old patterns will begin to fall away, old people will fall out of your life, you will need to remove people from your life. Your world will start changing, you will start changing, and it can be a very scary time if you don't know what's going on with you and that it's ultimately beautiful and that you are actually transforming like a butterfly or like a caterpillar does into a butterfly. And so here are my tips. I'm going to read them to you and I hope, this is my intention, that these tips help ease your process and help you along your journey and your spiritual awakening. So tip number one is acceptance. Acceptance is so important throughout this process because you have to accept what is going on with you. You cannot try to fight against it, and I'll tell you why. Even though the, changing, the changes you're experiencing are fast-paced and can be difficult to adjust to, acceptance is the best route to quickly getting through them. The more you resist, the worse it will be. Resisting creates blockages, and these blockages create internal issues, stagnation, and unfavorable manifestations. So, Hello. So if you are resisting your changes and the things that you are going through, what it does is it creates blockages in your reality. And you will not be able to successfully get through because you will be resisting, which will not allow you to get through. So you ultimately have to accept the changes that you're going through so that you can allow them, so you can experience them, so you can understand what they're trying to teach you. One thing that really helped me through my awakening was asking what these situations mean. What do these situations mean? What are they trying to teach me? Meditate on that and those answers will start coming to you. But acceptance is very key in this. You must accept what you're going through, that you are changing, that your world is changing. And keep in mind, even if it doesn't feel this way, that you will be so much happier once it's done. Number two is follow your gut and your instincts. If you feel like staying home alone and doing nothing, do it. If you feel like finding a new job because the one you work so hard for doesn't feel satisfying anymore, do it. If you feel like weeding out some people from your life, do it, baby. These new ideas and impulses are guiding you in the right direction. Listen to them, no matter how scary they may seem. If you're feeling impulses to let certain things go, certain things that you maybe have worked very hard for, things that you thought you truly wanted, things that you thought identified with who you are let them go because you're being shown that that's not your real self that is not your true path and there is something much better out there for you so choose to let go of these things that you feel inside that you must let go of because your gut instincts are not leading you astray baby number three do things that are good for the soul even if they don't have a constructive purpose follow your joy if you feel like taking the evening off from life to go for a long walk with your dog, do it. Even if you have other things that you should be doing, do it anyway. Go for a hike with a good friend, sit outside and stare at the trees. Admire the flowers, sit in the sunshine for at least 10 minutes every day. Doing things that are good for your soul will ease this process and give you some much needed time for meditation, thoughts, prayer, and inner work. This time is all about finding out who you truly are so that you may find your true path. Don't feel bad about taking some time off or beat yourself up for not being productive. By embracing this time to be still and to go inward, you're being more productive than you even know. Tip number four, find a place within the spiritual community. Realize that you are not alone. If you take a little time to explore YouTube and the internet, you will find that there are many people going through these strange phenomenons right along with you. Many people are speaking out and sharing their experiences in hopes that others, like yourself, may find some peace and comfort in knowing that they are not alone along this beautiful and difficult journey of self-discovery. Take some time to listen to these people and even consider starting your own blogger channel, even if you don't think anyone will watch it. 
do it anyway. The world can benefit from your wisdom. And your brothers and sisters out there want you to know that you are not alone. Find some peace in this. Tip number five, get excited. Woo! Get so excited for what's to come, baby. Get excited. If you take a little time, excuse me, that's the wrong one. Okay, so I know it's kind of hard to get excited when your whole world is falling apart and you have no idea what to do about it, let alone what to do next. But if there is one thing you know deep down, you know that this is not happening by chance. You know that something magical is going on here. Don't question that. Even though you question this at times, along with your sanity, you ultimately know it to be true. What are the odds of so many of us going through these strange experiences and experiencing these strange symptoms and <laughs> symptoms, these symptoms and occurrences and changes in the same period of time? It's not a coincidence at all. In this case, allow yourself to get very excited for what's to come. Even though the current road may be troublesome and difficult, you are being transformed and prepared for things you cannot yet imagine. Believe this, for this is the truth. Spiritual awakening is really difficult and it can totally destroy your life if you do not know what is happening to you. You will question yourself, you will question your sanity, you will wonder what's going on, you will wonder what's wrong with you, you will wonder what wrong move you made. But here's the thing, you didn't make a wrong move, okay? You have been led here for a very specific reason. You've always felt like you were different, you've always felt a calling to do something on this planet and you're being called now. You're being asked to transform. You're being asked to turn inward, to discover yourself, your true power, your true nature, and the things that truly make your soul come alive. Because when you find those things, when you find that light and that love, you can turn it outward and turn it to the whole planet. And that is being the change. That is changing the world. That is doing the thing that we came here to do, to be a pillar of light, to be the ones that are making a difference in the smallest of ways. I wrote down some other things that are worth noting. Spend time in nature. Spending time in nature is so beneficial. It's very beneficial also for empaths, highly sensitive people, and just people in general. But spending time in nature during this process when you're just feeling very out of sorts and very transitionary, it will help align you, it'll help calm you, and it'll help cleanse you of just some of the things that you're going through. Nature is so important in my life and I don't know what I would do if I couldn't just come out and spend time with the trees and the flowers whenever I need to because it, it's truly my church. Clean up your diet. Do your best to remove processed foods from your diet. Remove foods that are filled with, you know, preservatives and toxins and things that are weighing down your body and your energetic body and clogging you and your chakras with resistance. Clean up your diet. Clean up your environment. Remove negative people ASAP, okay. This is very important. At the beginning of your journey, you're gonna start noticing which people belong in your reality and which people don't. And you will know because they will make you feel very terrible. They will make you feel drained. They will make you feel negative, okay? These are the people that you need to cut out of your reality immediately. And these people, a lot of these people it, are people that have been in your life for many, many years. People who you've been friends with for a really long time. You're, sometimes it can even be your family. You have to respect yourself and understand that if somebody's energy is bringing down your energy, they do not belong in your reality. Even if you cannot totally remove them from your reality, such as a family member, what you do is you meditate on cutting the emotional ties to that person. That doesn't mean that you can't spend time with them, that you can't love them, that you can't be there for them or interact with them. But what that means is that you are creating a barrier between your energetic field, your arc field, and their arc field through the through intentions and they are no longer able to affect you. Work on this, it's not something that happens overnight, but you will notice the effects if you truly put your time, your love and energy into meditating on that. Cut those emotional ties because those people that are draining you of energy, they don't belong. They just, they don't belong. Listen to your internal guidance. I know I already said that with like following your instincts and stuff like that, but you will get little pings of like intuition where it'll, it'll tell you to just you know, go, uh, go on a walk on somewhere with your dog and you won't even know why like you want to do that. Like you will just feel intuitively drawn to go do just things, things that are usually good for the soul, things that 
bring you to certain places where you end up meeting a likewise soul or bringing you somewhere where you have uh, have the ability to come into a realization the universe is always working for you it is always pulling the strings for you behind your back so when you get those little little like jolts of intuition follow them no matter how crazy they seem do not let your logical egoic mind come into play and start saying well what's the purpose of that what am I gonna get out of that what am I gonna do when I get there what about that just do it anyway follow those instincts and those intuitions because they will lead you to the most beautiful places where you will run into the most beautiful of people and it'll start showing you wow okay like these intuitive things are are really leading me to to great things and to good ideas and to great people and follow those instincts follow those intuitions Come to terms with the fact that this is not going to be easy, okay? But it will be so worth it. So, when you're having one of your rough times and you start getting in your head and you're thinking, gosh, like this is so hard, I don't think I can do this. We all have those moments and it it just feels like it's too much, I feel so lonely, no one understands me, people think I'm weird, my family rejects me. You know, Just knowing that it's not gonna be easy and accepting that will make those things a little easier to get through. There's nothing that can totally change that and there's nothing that can totally remedy those situations for you. But just knowing and just allowing those experiences and just allowing what is going on with you to happen and just allow yourself to transform, it will be so worth it in the end. And I can totally promise you that from a point of experience, it'll be so worth it. And lastly, Understand that the journey is much more important than the destination. Enjoy your ride here, baby, for the ride is your life, okay? We are all so connected and we are all one. We are all family. We are all versions of ourselves experiencing each other and empowering each other and helping each other along this journey. And I find so much peace and comfort in that. And just knowing that you're not alone and knowing that this road does lead somewhere. Even if you're stuck in the dark night of the soul and you have no motivation, no energy, your world is falling apart, you are questioning life, you're questioning your sanity, you're, you have no idea what to do, you wake up, you don't have energy, you have no passion, no motivation. That is something that happens during this journey. It will happen to you. Um, some people don't go through it, those lucky ones. But a lot of people will go through a dark night of the soul. And if that is you right now and you are stuck in that that black, dark, scary place, please know, please, please know that I was there too. And I know what that feels like. And the more you try to resist and act from a place of fear and act from a place of trying to get out of it, the longer you will prolong it. You have to accept what you're going through and you have to ask, ask what the experiences are there to teach you so those same cycles do not keep coming up and that you don't have to keep living through them. Okay? I love you guys so much. I really and truly hope that this video helped you in some small way or at least brought a little light and love into your day today. Let me give you a quick glance of where I'm at. It's so beautiful up here. This is one of my favorite little meditation spots. There's my good girl. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I will see you soon. Have a beautiful day, evening, night, whatever it is. You're beautiful. Don't ever forget that, okay? Peace.